mirror command is a special version of the copy command because the copies it makes are mirror images. Mirror copies are useful because sometimes objects that you're designing are symmetrical, meaning that they are the same on both sides. So I've started the mirror command and it's asking me to select objects. So I'm going to select this object here, press enter to continue. And then it asks for the first point of a mirror line. A mirror line is an imaginary line about which a NanoCAD will mirror the selected object. So I've uh, picked the lower point here. As I move the cursor, the angle from the original object to the mirror line to the mirrored object is identical. So the you, we say that the mirror line is bisecting the two. And as I move it, you can see how the, the mirror a copy reacts appropriately. So then the final question is whether to erase the source objects and in most cases you'll say I'm just going to repeat the command quickly to uh, create a doubly symmetric object this time the mirror line will be across here this is a uh, new object it is mirrored around vertically and horizontally let me repeat the command but this time I'm going to mirror the object at an angle so I've uh, selected it and then the first point in the mirror line I will have over here at an arbitrary location and then pick another point once again that black line in the center is the mirror line when I click and press enter to keep the original we see the mirror at a distance the mirror command has a perpendicular option which is a little tricky to understand so I'm going to show you how it works with the assistance of these two mirror lines one's in red for regular mirroring and one is in green for perpendicular mirroring. Start the mirror command, select the object, press enter, and now I'm going to use a regular mirror. So I'll use the red line as the mirror line and we have the mirrored object there. Now I'm going to repeat the command and select the same initial object, press enter, and now enter P for the perpendicular option. And now again it asks me for the uh, first point and I'm going to pick the same points along the red line. So how did this uh, perpendicular mirror object end up that way? Well it can be understood if I repeat the mirror command but this time use the green line as the mirror one. Notice that the green line is perpendicular to the red line. So I'm going to do a regular mirror but this time use the green line as the mirror. And as I do, notice that, that the regular mirror object lines up with the perpendicular mirrored one as I use that 90 degree mirror line. By default, NanoCAD doesn't mirror text when you mirror entities That's so that you can continue to read the text after it's been mirrored. However, there are some cases where it might not be mirrored and I'll show you what that looks like. The difference between whether the text is mirrored or not mirrored is with the mirror text system variable. So down here on the command prompt, I'm typing it in, and then it has two values. One means yes, the text will be mirrored. Zero means the text will not be mirrored. So if you find the text in your drawings being mirrored when you mirror objects, it's because of the setting of mirror text. Set it back to zero.